Hey guys, I am at uh, across the street from 116 South Main Street, Enterprise, Alabama, and I'm back in front of uh, the Rawls Hotel. And uh, it, I don't know if you've seen my previous video, but I've done a, an entire history on the, the Rawls before, and I just kind of gave a, a tour from the outside of the building. But um, back in 2013, my wife and I uh, were able to come and stay in the Rawls back when the bed and breakfast was still open. And um, so I really wanted to, I, I had a lot of footage from back then that I really wanted to go through and just kind of edit down into a watchable video. And um, I, I, I really wanted to have that completed by October, so it'd be good, at least around Halloween time. And uh, I finally got it ready and I'm really excited to finally release that footage and um, just show you what, it, uh, what all we capture, what, what all uh, the inside of the building looks like. I'm not going to go over the entire history of the house again. Uh, I'll give you like a... But if you haven't seen the other video, I'll give you a, a real quick brief synopsis of the history of, of the hotel. So uh, this front part of the hotel was originally built in 1903, and uh, it looked a bit different than this. Uh, they, they did build at some point a facade around the outside, this, um, this stucco finished facade around the outside. Uh, as you can see, here's... The, uh, historical marker it goes over a little bit of the history but um the Rawls is said to be uh, one of the most haunted hotels in Alabama and this goes back decades and decades and I'm gonna walk around to the back of the building and kind of give you a glimpse of the back um, in case you hadn't seen the previous video and then, uh, and then I'm gonna show you the footage that I filmed in 2013 all right this is the the back of the building and um these extra wings and the uh, third story and all that was, was uh, this was added on in 1928 and it reopened in 1929 after the renovations and the expansion and um, this was a much larger hotel than it originally operated at now um, it remained a hotel like that for decades but um eventually it fell into a, a bit of disrepair and um, it wasn't until um, it was bought in the 1970s that a lot of it was heavily refurnished and renovated and got back into pristine condition but uh, the, um, the hotel these wings back here have not operated as a hotel in a very long time but in 2013 this bottom, this first floor here on the wings was used as a bed and breakfast. And um, my wife and I, we stayed in this room right here on the corner, right through that window. And that way you can see into the hallway here. But that was our door there on the right so yeah um we stayed in there but the bed and breakfast closed just a few years ago I think uh, 2017 I believe and um all that remains that that still in operation is the inside of this restaurant so all the ground floor there is still the restaurant and through that door now, all the other space is leased out they have a lot of different um businesses business offices and uh there's several law firms that uh have offices here at the rawls and um okay so as for the spooky stuff for decades people have claimed that in different parts of the hotel especially the uh the restaurant area that um, people can hear the sound of, of children laughing um, when there's no children in the building. Uh, previous owners and the, the current owner as well, as, as well as a number of other employees who claim to have seen uh, different um, specters, different uh, people. Um, some people claim to have seen Mr. J. Fifth Rawls that originally opened the hotel. Now, in this center the center of the building here that is a stairway and 
on the uh, second floor landing, some people claim to see the glowing red, uh, a glowing red presence of a, a woman called a Lady in Red, and supposedly she was pushed from the uh, second story balcony and fell to her death. Um, also, the third floor, uh, it's said that there's a uh, lady in blue that haunts the third floor, as well as that of a man. Um, but whereas on the uh, the lady in red, some people say that, that she can be kind of a malevolent type spirit that um, tends to try to, to push people. Uh, other people say that the lady in blue is more of a uh, maternal type figure that uh, is benign and perhaps more friendly. Now, uh, before we start the footage from 2013, I, want, I wanted to share with you that at that time when the bed and breakfast was still open, once you checked in and the staff left for the night, and all the hotel workers and the people in the bar left, you're, you're there by yourself. There's no staff on, on hand at all. But um, if you saw down that hallway where our room was at, after everybody had left that night, there was a door that goes into the, the restaurant and the main side of the uh, building that um, was not secure, was not locked, and it was just left cracked. So obviously I went and helped myself and took a tour by myself throughout the building. And um, there's certain sections of the footage that is very dark. I didn't have any light turned on on my camera. So there's a few parts that's really, really dark, especially when I'm up in this stairway up here on the uh, upper floors. But I wanted to show this door right here because right on the other side of this door is where I was standing when the only thing that happened that I can't explain occurred. And that is uh, toward the end of the video. It was uh, right after that I went back to my room. But what it was was there was a uh, continuous lock knocking sound. And um, I don't know where it was coming from. But I was standing right on the other side of those doors. There was a... Uh, you can kind of see through those windows on the door you can't really see through it so well like you can't make out a clear picture of the outside here or anything like that but there is light coming from the outside in and you would have been able to see like a silhouette or a shadow of a person was at that door i'm not even sure if the knocking was coming from those doors because i'm hard of hearing uh, i wear hearing aids and um so i can hear but it's almost impossible for me to determine the direction that a sound is coming from. So there's things that I can hear, but I, I, you know, I can't really tell where it's coming from. But that is the Rawls. And we're gonna take a look at our footage and I, I hope you'll enjoy it and enjoy being able to see the inside of the historical building um, the restaurant still opens today so if you'd like to see the inside uh, they got fantastic fine dining for a great experience if you are ever in enterprise and looking for some good food um, let's roll
is spooky. So uh, what do you guys think? Um, I hope you enjoyed the footage, um, but what are your thoughts? Also, um, when it comes to reviewing footage, because of my uh, hearing impairment, uh, I, I can't hear very well. So um, I'm, I'm curious if anybody might have heard anything on audio that perhaps I didn't. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious to hear what, uh, what all you guys thought of the knocking sound. Um, I, I don't know what that was. I couldn't figure out a cause. I'm, I'm not, I, I'm, I always try to remain at least a little bit skeptical uh, and maintain some healthy set, uh, skepticism, but I really could not figure out what the cause of that sound was. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying it was anything supernatural. I have no idea, but there was a knocking and I don't know what it was when I was in a building by myself. Um, so yeah, tell me your thoughts, please. I'd, I'd love to hear it. Um, as you see, I, I have a lot of videos on my channel where I go and give a little tour um, of, of various places that are said to be haunted. And uh, the vast majority, like, with the exception of one or two, like nothing ever happens uh, when I'm there. And I only mention that to, to point out that um, I don't know what the cause of the knocking was, except for the fact that it was not me. Um, I do not fake anything. I never have, never will. That's not what I'm about or, or what I do. Um, but I know that there you are in a scene where it's very, very dark and there's some unexplained knocking. Here we are six years later and I have no idea what it was. But uh, if you have any thoughts, um, what it may have been or what it sounds like to you, please let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear it. But 
thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and have a great October and a happy Halloween.